Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey everybody and welcome, welcome to her lovely place. To all of my new viewers and subscribers, welcome. I'm so glad to have you as a part of the planning community as well as a part of her lovely plan and to all of my old faithfuls welcome back so anyway i am here today to do a plan with me and as you can see i am using a mini kit this week and this mini kit comes from simply me quiche she has some amazing kits and i'll make sure that i leave her link in the description box as well i will be using some of this washi that came from um i believe i think this was the winter kit yeah this came from the simply gilded subscription box and this is like the denim blue with the sweater type um washi and i figured it would pair really nicely with these colors in this kit so i will actually be doing my weeks in my standard size traveler's notebook in which i have it in a kaye cover just because i don't like for my inserts to stick out on the sides because i like my planner chunky so if you like a chunky planner and you have a standard size tn you might want to think about upgrading to a kaye size just because it just makes it look a little bit neater um, if I kept it in my standard size, you would have just seen the inserts popping out over the edges. And who likes overhang? I know I don't. That's why I wear a body shaper. <laughs> but anyway, that was TMI. But we all friends and family here, so it's nothing wrong with sharing a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, if you want to see how I plan for my week, stick around. So before I go into this week's plan with me, as promised last year, I said I wanted to always show you my after the pin because it's not just about decorating it, making it look cute, but it's also about being functional. So again, this is an insert, a standard size insert that goes in my TN and I made this cover myself. I'm using a mead folder, um, but just to kind of show you, this is a three month calendar um, and I got this from the Paper Penguin. And I don't know if I'm going to use it for three months. Um, I might switch it up because I am new to um, planning in a travels notebook. So I want to try the different layouts in regards to the inserts. And that's another reason I am really enjoying using the travels notebooks because you can get the printables and they're like anywhere from a dollar to three dollars and then it's yours to keep so you can always reuse them. So I don't... Um, like this one I actually purchased but for the ones that I um, printed myself um, you know I don't have to print all three months I can just print a month or just a week just to see how I like it um, so if you're still trying to figure out how you want to use your planner or what planners may work for you you might want to consider travels notebook especially because you can print your inserts and you don't have to commit to one style every month or every week um, so enough with all of that let's show you last week's spread so this was the first week in january and i did use um, a lot of stickers that came out of the villa beautiful celebrate kit look at all the falling i'm so in love with falling so as you can see it was very decor decorative but it was very functional um i didn't have a lot of things because normally the first of the year is pretty um kind of low-key for me but I did go in and you know write down my plans and I write my stuff day by day that's why I don't do you know writing while I'm filming so anyway um, this is uh, this isn't the traditional layout that you see in most travelers notebooks to me again this reminds me of the mini happy planner um, vertical layout um, and that's why I picked this one to start out with because I wanted to start out with something familiar so I can get acclimated to planning in a traveler's notebook. Um, it is undated, um, so typically what I do is use the date covers to cover up the dates that's already on here. So if you wanna see me plan for the week of January the 7th through the 13th, we're getting right into it right now, so stick around.
first I wasn't going to do a voiceover, but I decided to do one because I wanted to point out something in regards to when you're choosing your inserts for your traveler's notebooks. When you're choosing your weeks, in which this is the weekly, or we call weeks um, layout, there's so many different layout styles to choose from. And I like that because with the different layout styles, it kind of forces you to switch up your planning style. This particular layout is very similar in my opinion to the mini happy planner layout. Um, so for me to transition into planning in a traveler's notebook, um, this was a good pick. But there are, like I said, so many different inserts that you can choose from. Just like in my B6, I have what I, in my opinion, is like your standard or your traditional layout that most um, TN users use. And you'll see that video later this week. Um, and I wanted to use different layouts because while I take this journey as a traveler's notebook newbie, I wanted you all to kind of see the different ways you can plan in the different inserts. So if you decide to get a traveler's notebook, you can kind of see how I've created in them and use that as a um, just a tool to help you in deciding which layout will work best for you based on how you plan. So I hope that this is helping, my tips are being helpful. Um, I definitely wanna be more intentional about um, providing a lot more education and knowledge that I have picked up along my, the way um, in this planning journey. So keep watching. it this is my spread and my weekly insert in my standard size travelers notebook and this is for Monday January 7th through Sunday January 13th so just to kind of go over a few things that I did um, to piggyback off of the voiceover um, but as you can see I use my simply gilded washi you know it wouldn't be a TN plan with me with no washi and um, I went in and just kind of tried to use the boxes, um, the deco boxes that came with the mini kit from Simply Me Quiche. And I really like the colors and I like, um, these were actually header tabs, but as you can see, I kind of created my own little thing. And then I went on top of a few of them and put these cute rose gold bows to match the rose gold bows from Simply Gilded's washi. And these came from Scribble Prints. And these are like clear. I have them in three different um, 
I guess shades you would say. They're not technically metals, but um, I have the rose gold, the gold, and the silver. And just look at that. Um, so I, st I did exactly what I set out to do is to not use any other stickers as my primary stickers. I did use, as I stated, the Scribble Prints um, little header, bow headers um, as accents. And then I just went through my um, 5144 mega sticker book from uh, Happy Planner that was a Joins release and just went in and added my wording stickers just so I wouldn't have to go in and add any myself. Um, I'm really trying to figure out how to incorporate my doll stickers in these layouts. Um, I think with the type of colors that I have, um, I don't have any doll stickers that I think that will go with them, but I do plan on getting some doll stickers somewhere in my spread sometime soon. Um, that might just mean I might have to order more doll stickers, but I'm on a no spin, so I won't be doing that until February. <laughs> So anyway, with that being said, um, as you can see with this particular insert, the corners are rounded and that's how it came. Um, when you print your own, you can either leave them square or you can go in and round them. So when I do apply my washi on these edges, I do use my corner rounder just so I can go in and get the corners exactly like the size instead of trying to trim them myself because I'm good with the scissors when it comes to haircuts. But with paper, oh, that's a whole nother story. But just look at the foiling. I love it. And I definitely had to put this sticker here. Even though it's on the wrong side, <laughs> it's still um, on that row where Wednesday is for Washi Wednesday. I thought about it after the fact. I don't know. But this is on a Sunday. I probably won't do a lot. Um, this is like a little tracker. It's a bill tracker. I don't know if you can see it. See the little credit cards. So I do have some bills that I have to um, remember. So I'll probably, I don't know. I just thought the sticker was cute. I added it there. <laughs> I probably won't track anything. Is that credit cards? Yeah, that's credit cards. But we're going to put something else right here. We're going to say no spin. There we go. No spin on my credit cards. So I'm going to put no spin here. I need to see. I think I have a no spin sticker. Let's check while we're on here together. Uh oh. Where are my no spin stickers? Let me get you back in focus while I look for that. Y'all, when you got so many stickers, sometimes it's a crying shame. Let's see, and all these Bill Do stickers. Does any of them say no spin? This one does, but it's a. Got the doll on here, and she doesn't match. And you know, I'm trying to make sure my color coordinations. I might just have to write that with my handwriting. I feel like I see. Seen a no spin sticker. Let's see, let's see. I wonder if one of these were no spin. Nope. It might be one in my budgeting sticker book. We'll just add that as an after the pin kind of situation because I don't want to keep you guys long because I want to make sure that I keep my videos well within the attention span of an adult and since I'm an adult and I know how I get after a certain period of time I kind of shut down and I don't want y'all to shut down on me because I love sharing with y'all and I want y'all to get what I'm sharing because you never know what might come out of me <laughs> through this video like spirit of the lord may give me something to give to somebody that need to hear when they need to hear it and i don't want to cheat y'all from getting a good word from your girl because y'all already know how i do but anyway if you like this week's plan with me 
in my standard size TN. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Just a way to let me know that you're rocking with me and you're liking what I'm seeing. And also drop me a comment below if you have any questions or if you just want to leave a positive comment of encouragement. Also, when you're down there leaving your comments and hitting the like button, make sure you scroll through that description box because not only will I leave the link to the kit, I will also have information with discount codes, a link to my Amazon shop, as well as to my other pages and other websites as well. And I don't want y'all to miss out on everything that I have for you guys. And also before I go, I want to give a shout out to At Home Akita because I have been looking for something to put down on my desk because my desk underneath is not cute and what I was using was just not working out for me. So I hit her up and she told me that she had the link to this mat and I also added the link on to my Amazon shop if any of you guys are looking for this mat. It's two sided. It has like the wood on the other side. It's really nice mat. I love it. One of probably the best purchases besides my um, arm mount that I use to record. So if you want to see what I use to record and want to purchase some of those items, it is on my Amazon storefront, which is in the description box. But anyway, if you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a new video or my Sunday live streams because me and my planner fam be going in we be having a great old time on my lives and you never know you might see my face because i'm trying to get in the habit of doing front view videos if i'm saying that right but anyway you guys i enjoy setting this up for you guys i can't wait until you see the after the pin next week on my next plan with me so if this has inspired you share this with your planner friends so they can also be inspired to create their own lovely plan. Until next time, Planner Fam, peace. Thank you again for watching Her Lovely Plan, and I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.